When I was 16 years old in poly, I stopped weighing myself after I hit 90 kilograms. I went up the scale and it was 90 and I decided uh, I don't want to weigh myself anymore. They believe that which is me. We try to find the blue guy, the guy in blue. You are pumped or the bigger size guy in the group. The jokes tend to be like on you. For some reason, uh, whatever you do seems funny. When people came into the lift, the first, the first person they looked at was me. Quite being sure that I'm the one that actually caused the, the smell, but uh, it happens more than once. Hi everyone, my name is Jake. I'm 31 this year. I'm the co-owner of Waffle Can. When I was 16 years old, I stopped weighing myself after I hit 90 kilograms. I would say self-esteem is the biggest issue. Obviously, when you're younger, a lot of your friends are looking for like girlfriends and obviously I'm also looking for girlfriends. And then you start to wonder whether, you know, is there something wrong with me? Why am I not attracting the, the opposite gender and stuff? Sad to say, a lot of times when you're plump, the jokes tend to be like on you. For some reason, uh, whatever you do seems funny. For example, when I was in poly going up the elevator, the lift was uh, not very pleasant smelling. When people came into the lift, first person they looked at was me. And it, it's not just one or two, it's just everyone that came in just had a glance of me, just quite being sure that I'm the one that actually caused the, the smell. So I've always wanted to slim down but I've always not been doing it in the right way and I attributed it to having the wrong motivations. Once I took up martial arts and I, when I wanted to compete and that's what drove my focus towards it. So when I was training really hard for the competition, I would have to go to school first. So I had my uh, lunch and it was like home prepared. So it's all like the usual steamed broccoli, steamed chicken and my dinner would actually be without carbs. So that was at a point where I wouldn't see the results coming in as fast as I would like it. So I thought that the biggest issue is my diet because I've been killing myself at the gym. So uh, I attribute it towards my diet instead of pacing myself out. And that's where I cut out all carbohydrates. I cut out the rice basically. But the main issue is being lethargic during training. And you're constantly feeling hungry. You think about your next meal more than you think about anything else. So there was one period of time where I lost 30 kgs uh, within an eight months period. I went to the extremes of not having like outings with my friends or even if I go out to having like a, a gathering with my friends, I bring my own food. So that was where I really started to wonder what is the point of me going through all of this when I cannot even live my social life properly. I think the weirdest thing to do is going to an economic rice store and then saying that uh, I fan not want to and then ordering just vegetable and then they start questioning you. Uh, you don't want rice, you sure? Then you don't want meat? You know, you just want vegetable, just one plate like that. Uh, some of them will will get a bit flabbergasted. When I bounced the idea off my partner, I was saying that wouldn't it be great if we have a place that anyone could go? Uh, if you just want to have a normal meal, you can. But uh, if you need like, you know, uh, a lot of like protein and very little carbs, what you are limited to in the market is ordering uh, several sets or adding it on to the current set. But sometimes they just want two proteins and one, one carbohydrate and they call it a meal. And that is where I was mentioning in a very layman's term, I wanted to do a chai fan. Just the same as economic rice where the rice is also optional and then you pay as you go whatever you order. And that is the way that we can kind of like fit all diet types. So if you're like a small eater, it's not really like a full lunch that you want to go for because you, you, you know that you tend to get into a food coma after that. You just want to have like a, a light protein, like something like a salmon, and then you go with a salad and call it a meal. Then if you are like a bodybuilder, you know, after your training, you need like two chicken breasts, one brown rice, call it a day. And or you're just here for a normal meal, you can have like half a protein, two carbohydrates, two sides. When it started out, we had no name to ourselves. Finding a place itself was really a pain because there was a period where the opening stress was definitely there. And uh, the second day of opening, I actually cut my thumb. It was a situation where you couldn't help with the prep at the shop and you are actually one of the headcount that's supposed to be doing all the chef -y stuff. And then it was quite smooth sailing. We were opening up our second outlet, which is at the OUE. But 2020 was the year we were supposed to uh, expand. Because of COVID-19, we had to make, make shifts in our plan to sustain. And the impact was a lot bigger than we, we thought it would be. We thought it would be really bad, but it became super bad. We saw 80% drop in revenue. And that 20% 
that we had was pretty much from deliveries. We are happy that we did not have to resort docking our, our staff's pay or you know letting go of uh, any of our full-time staff. We had to pivot a lot of our staff's responsibilities as well. So one of our staff uh, that could drive started doing deliveries for us. Outlets that didn't have walk-in had to shift uh, manpower over and then we did uh, more deliveries and some of us would have to walk to certain delivery places and, and all. I think the whole experience of uh, owning a business is that hardships will always come in but a lot of times where the door closes, another door opens and all of these things will be very valuable lessons to you down the road in your life and uh, the things that you, you hold dear to, like the friends that were all along with you, the people who are not taking you for granted. Of course, like for example, a very easy way to talk about it, when I started to slim down and started look and feel better about myself, or rather I was exposed to people who were a bit superficial. I mean, sum it up, I probably wouldn't want anything to be changed, but I would just take care of the mental psyche at that point because it was a really uh, dark place to be at. And um, yeah, as much as possible, you know, can smile through the thing instead of uh, wallowing in your self-pity. <laughs>